Hello, this is another Xanadu video. This is for the muse. Um, I'm never prepared. Oh, Polyphemina? The muse of hymns. I can't pronounce this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm just, it's very late in, at night and I'm not gonna look it up, but, um, the muse of hymns. Yeah. <laughs> and I think this is very, this is actually not that hard of a look. You use two eyeshadows and you just glue these on with lashes and then you feel fabulous. So yeah, if you like this video, keep watching. All right, here we go. I already did this eye to literally save time because it is very late at night. But yeah, let's get started. This is a very easy look. This literally takes like two seconds, maybe. Not that hard. So yeah. First thing I'm gonna do is go in with the NYX Ultimate Palette and I'm gonna take this blue shade, tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna start packing. And we're only gonna do it from this side of the eye, the outside part. You can blend it in a little bit over here, not that much. And I'll blend up to the brow bone because they did that in the 80s, but it has to be very light blue on the top. And kind of wing it out just a little bit. I'm actually going to take a smaller blending brush and wing it out. And I'm going to keep packing as much as I like until I really like the color payoff. I'm going to take my finger and put it in the center. There we go, we got half of one eyeshadow. I'm going to go with a different blending brush and I'm going to dip into the purple. And you can kind of blend it a little bit into the blue because we really don't want any harsh lines. And then blend up to the brow bone and make sure it's very light handed. And then just blend this together. Make sure no harsh lines. We don't like harsh lines. I'm going to take my finger and go like... Alright, now I'm going to take this liquid highlight. This is the Maybelline Master Stroke Cream Strobing Liquid, whatever. The L'Oreal one is literally the exact same, so if you want to get this, whichever one's cheaper, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take this liquid highlight and just pat it in the center of the eye where the purple meets the blue. You can use any like shimmery eyeshadow or any highlight genuinely. More of like a pinky pearly kind of color rather than a champagne though. See how that helps blend in with the blue and the purple and it's really pretty. And I'm going to do it a couple of times but make sure that the most pigment is in the center. And then I'm going to take this like tiny brush, get a little bit of the highlight on it, and put it on under the brow, and in the inner part. Now I'm going to go back in with the eyeshadow. I'm going to take a tiny blending brush and I'm going to go with the blue, put this on, and blend it in with the blue a little bit. And I'm going to do the same thing with purple as well. I'm going to go back in with the highlight and put it where the blue meets the purple under my eye. Now I am just going to make a nice thin line. And this is for the false eyelashes we're going to put on. Because whenever we wear just false eyelashes and not any eyeliner, it can look really weird. And this just helps prevent that. Alright, I was distracted by Brianna Michelle Green, but I'm... I'm back now. Now that we have our liner on, just the thin line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this white eyeliner from Morphe, literally like $8, and I'm going to just like finish the line by making this the like wing part. You might have to go back over it since this isn't the most pigmented, but... Alright, pearl time. I'm gonna make the pearls into this nice, like, round shape. At the edge of my brow.
Now I'm going to go in with the smaller, the second smallest pearl. Put that under my eye. And then I'm going to go in with the smallest pearl and put that under it. Alright, I'm going to put my lash on and I'll be right back. Alright, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add mascara just because I got some white on my lashes and didn't want that. Also, this helps blend in your natural lashes with the falsies. Don't put any mascara on your lower lash line because we don't want to hide the pearls. And I believe that is the final look. And yeah, okay, I hope you really enjoyed this. This is probably one of my favorites and yeah, okay. See you in the next video. Bye. How are you doing? You want to say hi to yet another video?